buildings are huge consumers of energy, 70% of the electricity in the United States, and as a result, responsible for 48% in the U.S. of carbon emissions that are contributing to climate change. We can make a big difference if we figure out how to change those numbers. Everyone who's doing this right now is a pioneer in figuring this out. Oddly, one of the first questions that I got was, do they work? Of course they work. Anything that's been an innovation in the building industry was like that at the beginning. You needed people to show the way and to show it could work. When we were going to build this 300,000 square foot facility, we wouldn't build it otherwise. We were planning on building it green. We've pushed ourselves to the edge of the cliff and we're looking over there going, boy, we really need to change the way we're doing business on this planet. Technology got us into this problem we're in and it's going to take technology to get us out. What do you find when you look at green examples that are out there? The question is, are they modelable? What are the cost-effective green building measures that have the biggest bang for a buck? We need to make our mistakes. We need to recognize our successes and build on that on every project. Every project is a proving ground. Even five or six years ago, green building was the purview of the fringe. General public's attitude back then was, green? Huh? You're painting the building green? Why? Uh, no, no, no. Environmentally friendly. Energy efficient. Oh, okay. It's really about pretty simple things. Green buildings are about energy efficiency. They're about water efficiency. They're about good indoor air quality call them healthy buildings. They're about using materials that are sustainable, materials that are rapidly renewable. And when I sort of break green building into its components, people understand. Well, the early numbers, you know, were 40, 40, and 40. Yeah, so that buildings consume 40% of the world's resources, the construction of buildings. That buildings use 40% of the world's primary energy for their operation. And that the construction of buildings generate 40% of our society's waste. Just those three numbers, those were things that started to be talked about in the mid to late 1990s in the very small, at the time, green building community. Green building means environmentally friendly and energy efficient buildings, right? And then LEED is the way that you measure green. And it's a rating system that was created by U.S. Green Building Council. It just is an easy way to measure how green a building is. With the introduction of the LEED rating system into the marketplace in 2000, LEED also became a roadmap for project teams that had never attempted to do something like this to figure out how to do it. If you look back when we built this first building in 2002 and 3, pretty much we were alone. And we, everyone looked at us like we had three heads. Now, you cannot go to an architectural firm who doesn't have a lead accredited professional on their staff, who doesn't have some idea what sustainable green building design is. Little School is really a very um, special example of what can be accomplished when a team of really skilled professionals sits down and says, okay, I want to create a green school, a special school. I met one of the founders at a business meeting and he was describing this school that he and his wife wanted to build to promote ecological stewardship in children. And it was really everything I always believed could happen with a development project, particularly a school. The best way to do that we felt when we collaborated with them was to have them live and breathe it so you can teach them with your building, with your site. This whole campus, what we're trying to do is create what I call a vernacular response to our environment. And this local area around here used to be a farming community and there used to be lots of old farms and barns. So our design strategy is to create this idea that we're creating a small farmy kind of barny kind of look. You know, I think for a while people thought a green building was sort of a contemporary, uh, modern, very sleek space. And I think the amazing part about the school was that it was designed in a way that was very traditional and really grounded in that community. So it doesn't feel out of place just because it's a green building. 